Just to, to be able to save. Now, I don't know if there'd be any difference between the Japanese and American language settings and whatnot, so... It may be slight differences, but I know Japanese games play in the uh, American 3DO. We have learned this firsthand through Virtual Cameraman. <laughs> Which we may be showing you, we haven't decided yet. <laughs> Now, as you can see here, this is a pretty cool shooter game. Oh, yeah. If you like shooting TIE Fighters and you're a Star Wars fan, you're probably going to love this. It recreates several missions from the original Star Wars series. Let's you play through them. Yeah, no uh, later trilogy here. It's all original. Oh, I've lost no. R2! <laughs> and they blasted me out of the sky. But same basic idea. They uh, modeled a lot of early Star Wars games. Basically, involved you fighting Tie Fighters and Stormtroopers. <laughs> Let's check out another level. Well, that sounds like an excellent idea. So that's one of the levels there. New high score. I. Let's so enter another password here. Enter a passcode. Let's see. Let's show you a ground level now. Morag. LucasArts always did some kind of referencing in there with their passcode systems. They just chose different things that were like... I don't know, I guess personal favorites of theirs. Now this is an on the ground level. Towards the ground, not actually on the ground. Oh no, no. He crash lands here. Oh, okay. He biffed it. Now he has to leave. See some more tricks with uh, the cinematics here. It's a good Very way to nice. Do it. Yeah. Very anime ish. Just move the mouth and leave the background static. And creating, recreating the Star Wars worlds with the just the picture overlay and then the rendered vehicles is a good way to do it too. Yeah. Yeah, the production's pretty high on this one. Stormtroopers actually look like stormtroopers. And made of polygons. Yeah. So real 3D stormtroopers. At least in the cutscene. He makes a run for it. Now we'll have a different take here. Now this These guys a... look like actors in stormtrooper costumes. And this is a good way to do it. Uh, they hadn't really nailed down moving around in 3D at this point and didn't really have the processing power. So this kind of gives you a, a little bit of... A, an action and adventure mode on foot without having to really tax the system. You see there he can strafe and using the B and C buttons and pick where he shoots. Haha, -ha, now he's moved to a new area. Which way will they come from? Now you have to choose your direction here. If you take the wrong way you'll uh, walk into a trap. Choose your path wisely. Oh look, I walked into a trap. He has not chosen wisely. <laughs> now they'll drop you right back here. So they say, try again. Shoot some stormtroopers. There is just a limitless supply of stormtroopers I've found from the Star Wars games I've played. Yeah, they never run out of them. That's because they're clones. Well... That definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But we wouldn't find this out until 2002. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about, Ray. This is the early 90s. Oh, yeah, they were believed to be actual people that joined. That was some dude that had a family at home. <laughs> but George Lucas would put our minds at ease about killing innocent people. Well, I guess they're not that innocent if they're stormtroopers, I guess. Plus, Their main job be, is to kill you. Plus, being clones, they're abominations of God, and we can't have that. Or, so, or in the Star Wars universe, the Force. Yes, they are abominations of the Force. So here you see another scene that you're in. Pretty much the same deal. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same all the way through here. I'm noticing my damage meter. I don't know if I just don't haven't taken any damage, or... But this was another one that really showed off what the 3DO could do and was pretty good, but everyone again, missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Just time and time again with this 3DO, you know. They had some great ideas. It's just that no one caught it. Yeah. No one had the system to, to play this stuff. Up or down? Uh, Let's go down. See what leads down. Dun, 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 dun. That is a f really tight fitting suit there that you have on there, rookie. <coughs> oh, that one just runs out and ran back. He wasn't going <laughs> to take his chances. Thank God I can snipe those guys up there. Yeah. Well, I've killed enough stormtroopers today. What do you think? Yeah, they can always make more. Yeah, there'll be plenty more clones to go. So we're going to switch gears once again here and take a look at something a little different for the 3DO. And may the force be with you. Okay, here's a game from Bullfrog, a developer that uh, was founded by Peter Molyneux and published by Electronic Arts called Syndicate. So you are forming a syndicate to uh, basically wreak some havoc across the globe. Today we might call such a person a terrorist, but th at this point you're just a mercenary. You're a syndicate. This is the early 90s. Bullfrog, uh, probably best known for the theme park uh, game Populous and Black and White. Later on, uh, Peter Molyneux would leave Bullfrog <laughs> and uh, do Black and White. But this is an early bullfrog title. Everyone do your own thing. <laughs> Everyone's just kind of hanging out here. So you have a squad, and in uh, this mission you really only need one guy, but... Oh well, well, let's just take our one guy. You can move either a single guy or the entire group, so that way you can have them do different things. Now, uh, you'll have mission objectives, kill a certain person, uh, do a certain task, and there's guards... Uh, different points in these areas, so you've got to work your way around, kill them, stop them, do whatever you need to. Have you experienced the awesome power of the Panasonic Real 3DO system? Obviously. The intense realism of Panasonic Real 3DO. Apparently. Or the mind-blowing graphics of Panasonic Real 3DO. Wow. Definitely. Cool. The Real 3DO system from Panasonic. Real. New Gen Gamers. Stop, stop.